Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to use contour selection and make use of the feature scope. Here we have two sketches made on two different planes. The idea is to create a model with the given sketches and use contour selection and feature scope to finish up the model. First, we are going to make an extrusion from the right contour sketch. Since there are intersecting contours, the default option for extruding boss space is not going to work. The user will have to make the selection in the contour selection area. Remove the previously selected sketch and click the semicircle. Let's make this a midplane extrusion and give it a value of 76 millimeters. Let's create another extrusion from the top sketched circle. Using the same procedure, we'll make it mid-plane as well and we'll give it a value of 57 millimeters. Now you will notice that there is a solid body folder added to the tree and it shows that we have two solid bodies. Solid body 1, solid body 2. Now let's create our third body using the other sketch we have. <laughs> Click on Extrude, select the sketch, and give it a through all. We'll make through all for both directions, and you'll see how this boss extrude engulfs the other extrusions. Make sure that the merge result box is unchecked. This will create three solid bodies. Now if the user wants to use one of the same sketches for another feature, for example in this case a cut, this is how the user is going to go about doing it. Select extruded cut from the features tab, select the sketch and make sure the cut is happening in the correct direction. Once you flip the direction, right under direction 1, the user should see a checkbox for a flip side to cut. Make sure it's pointing towards the side that the user wants to cut. In this case, we're going to point it outside for it to remove all the materials outside of that sketch. In the feature scope box, I can select which bodies are affected by the cut. Or I can have SOLIDWORKS do that for me automatically. In this case, I'm going to select the body, the third extrusion that we created, and I'm going to click on the eyeglasses. This eyeglasses gives me a preview of how my cut looks, and if I'm happy with that, I can accept it. Here is a resulting body. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.